Hello all, uh, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu and uh, today we have Dr. Vishwanath. He is done MD and DM from PGI Chandigarh in uh, neuroanesthesia. So he is in charge of neuroanesthesia in Ashoka Hospital, Sikindrapad and also is program director for fellowship program in neuroanesthesia. Welcome to the channel, Dr. Vishwa. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So basically, uh, this video I'm doing uh, with the one agenda. So Dr. Vishwa is organizing a interoperative neuro monitoring workshop. It is called as IONM workshop on Jan 19th in Ashoda Hospital, Sikindrabad, under the banner of ISMA, that is uh, Indian Society of Neuroanesthesia and Critical Care, as a part of national conference. And thanks for inviting me as a part of, uh, you know, as a speaker. And uh, so I will be available uh, on Jan 19th in Hyderabad, if somebody wants to meet me and the team, so you are uh, free to come there and attend the workshop and also interact with us. So that will be a very good opportunity for uh, MD anesthesia students who are there. And also even anesthesia, some of the anesthesia technicians in this channel also, I think you can pursue the interoperative neuro monitoring as a career. So I would like to briefly tell actually, you know, what we are going to cover. So a little bit before uh, starting that, uh, so Dr. Vishwa, so how is ah, uh, when you're going to be and uh, uh, Hyderabad, uh, how is everything ready from your side? <laughs> yes, sir. We are uh, preparing everything. So we have invited many uh, faculty. So mainly in uh, INM workshop, we have targeted mainly for uh, anesthesia, uh, anesthesia, anesthetist, a neuro anesthetist and the neurosurgeons and the neurophysiologist who are involved in the people who are involved in perioperative period surgery, especially from uh, surgery, whenever the surgery goes up, brain and spine surgeries. So these are the things we have uh, covering. In that, mainly we'll tell about the basic things about MEP, SSCP, and training of monitoring, what are the newer modalities, and what are the uh, type of anesthesia, how we give different anesthesia for intra neuro monitoring, and what are the depth monitoring, how we monitor the depth in these patients. So these things, uh, in, it will be like live surgeries. There will be live surgery going on. The, uh, the people, interested people can attend and uh, they can see how in live surgery, how we conduct and uh, what are the needle placement, how we do programming and uh, how we give anesthesia. So on top of that, we are at the same time, the lectures will be going on. And the afternoon session, what we have is in the afternoon, uh, we are having a workshop like uh, where the hands-on will be there, where uh, each, uh, in, in, we have four stations for that. In station one, we have brain and the cranial nerve, and stations two, uh, mainly exclusive spine cases, they'll demonstrate. And in station three, we have e, uh, EG plus uh, pediatric cases. And in station four, exclusively for anesthesia plus depth monitoring, anesthesia related things, whatever the neuro monitoring. Like, these are the stations we have in the afternoon session. So, this is our highlights uh, as of now. So, this is actually, uh, you would like to briefly tell to the subscribers. So what Dr. Vishwa is going to conduct is a next level of, uh, you know, the monitoring. So during surgeries, what happens is usually when we resect a brain tumor, there is always a possibility of damage to neural structures. There are several videos in my channel about neuro monitoring you can go through them. And during even spine surgery also, there is a possibility of damaging the nerve roots in the lumbar area, or they, there is a possibility of damage to the spinal cord in cervical surgeries or dorsal surgeries. So during those surgeries, how are we going to make sure that nothing is happening? How are we going to alert the surgeon? And uh, what are the different uh, parameters we need to monitor? How to troubleshoot? So these are very important in the modern practice because they increase the safety of the surgery, basically. So previously, the neural surgery used to be like after surgery, one hand or a limb or something was not working. But now that is not the case. Even after neural surgery, patient goes some just intact. So how are we able to do that? We are able to do that with intraoperative neuro monitoring. So that is what is this workshop about. So as an anesthesiologist uh, and a neuroanesthesiologist, you have to learn this. And if you are just an MD anesthesia, first year or second year person, just come and see what the world is like and how the advances are happening and uh, try to understand where the world is going. So then you can take a uh, you know informed decision about whether to enter neuroanesthesia or not in the future. So like that, you guys have to attend every uh, unique, different specialty like transplant, ECMO, and other areas. So in neuro, neuro monitoring, you have to attend, and then you take a call if you like it. Then you can actually pursue neuro anesthesia as a career. Correct, right? Uh, Ishwadab, what do you feel? Yes, 
yes sir yes sir yes sir you are true sir you correct sir so then uh, let us just uh, discuss uh, different people whom you are inviting i'm really excited to know actually you could gather all the best people in india so dr srinivas babu is from uh, can you just tell us the name cmc cmc bello sir cmc srinivas babu dr mukil we have two do international uh, faculty sir uh, okay. dr nitin manohar and dr mukil and balasubramanyam uh, they are joining us from uh, abu dhabi clean and clinic Oh. and we have uh, our uh, two neurosurgeons are involved in this one is uh, dr anand balasubramanyam he is a uh, hod neurosurgery uh, in amrita hospital uh, delhi so one more dr bj rajesh who is uh, hod anastisha in yashoda sikindrabad two neurosurgeons are involved in. and uh, we have uh, one uh, our uh, faculty is from nimans uh, dhritiman uh, who is exclusively like, he is it will be talking mainly on the eeg part and drop depth monitoring part and we have uh, our from jipmar uh, dr prasanna bidkar who is a uh, hod neuroanesthesia uh, from uh, jipmar sir and we have uh, parthiban who is joining us from mumbai uh, tata memorial he is working in tata memorial hospital so he is exclusively working more on the monitoring part especially eloquent area and the monitoring part he is involved in. so you got the best guys in india actually to talk about this And, and I you are also you are also involved. Yeah, I'll tell you about my doctor. Dr. Dhiraj sir is mainly Dhiraj sir is mainly will be he'll be talking mainly on spine. spine. Uh, he do lot of works in spine cases, so he'll be talking mainly on what spine neuro monitoring in spine cases. So what I am going to talk briefly, I would like to tell. Uh, so mainly the cervical spine surgeries and uh, you know lumbar spine surgery, minimal invasive spine surgery, scoliosis surgeries. There is always a possibility of neural structure damage. So. the best way to you know prevent it is uh, you know prevent the thing from happening so how do we do that before the event happens only you have to you know alert the surgeon that you are going in a particular direction which is not right so that is uh, done by different techniques like medical screw testing and different different ways are there so those are the ones uh, i am going to cover it is going to be really exciting uh, this particular yes, sir, yes, sir. i am am first it started in spine surgeries only mm-hmm. i think Scoliosis yeah, scoliosis. Started with uh, scoliosis and intramedullary tumors. They used to do MEPs initially. Later on, uh, the brain started, and now uh, I think a uh, little bit. You want to talk about the mapping and uh, subsection subcortical mapping that you guys. Yes, sir. Use. We are like uh, exclusive. We are talking about how uh, intraoperative monitoring, especially comes comes to brain tumor. So mapping part, eloquent area, non-eloquent area are separated, sir. uh one person will be talking uh, exclusion eloquent areas and non eloquent areas subcortical mapping also we are, we are telling where you use the suction so how we use the suction stimulator how to interpret it and when it comes to cranial nerve monitoring emg part how i de how to how to identify the uh, like the structure and how to monitor the things so one is a uh, uh, monitoring part also we are telling and uh, identifying any structure so mapping part monitoring part both we are uh, uh, will be telling sir live surgeries will be going on one we are planning one uh, brain surgery and one uh, spine surgery so in that we'll demonstrate everything we are preferably we are planning to keep on uh, cp angle tumor so if we get that then definitely we'll show everything how in that case sir so it is going to be uh, you know full meals actually for people who are interested in this mainly the electrophysiological technician should i think everyone should attend this and anesthesia students anesthesia technicians i feel everyone should come and attend this workshop So superb, uh, nice work, Doctor Vishwa. I think hope we should do more and more, and we should do in all places. I feel this kind of workshops it will help many people actually. Now this upcoming yes, sir, nowadays, yeah, yes sir. Nowadays because in in future uh, no 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 neurosurgery will be done without monitoring. Mm-hmm. Be it uh, awake or be it uh, under anesthesia. Under anesthesia, if you are doing so, all surgeries nowadays it will be done with monitoring, with intraoperative neurophysiological monitoring. so it is it is beneficial for the people as like nowadays younger generation people to deal with the thing these things so that they in future they will be helpful for them okay okay super super so then uh, how do uh, somebody register for this uh, workshop sir in the description in the in this uh, video description we will be giving the link sir so okay. they can uh, join here and uh, we'll have, we have given the contact number of the coordinator so they can directly contact with them uh, we are we have kept very reasonable price only for, especially for the technicians for the students uh, okay. most probably we are uh, making it very reasonable okay. we are talk, we are talking with our organization if it is feasible we can we can make it free also for the students and the technicians so that is the plan sir as of now but uh, see what i feel is the best investment in life is 
this investment that you make on yourself in growing your skills so uh, what i always tell my audience also is the same thing you have to invest uh, you know money in developing your skills so even uh, you know this is also a kind of improving your skill with these workshops so i feel it should be reasonable but it should be okay they even they spend money every penny is worth it in uh, attending these kind of workshops where all the best guys are coming and actually coming and teaching you the best, you know neuro monitoring stuff so thank you dr vishwa and hope this video reaches so many people and uh, if you have a good audience then it will be very nice uh, on jan 19th hope to see you guys and uh, our team is ready to meet you on jan 19th i'll be waiting for you thank you sir and thank you for accepting my invitation for the workshop and thank you for uh, inviting me on your youtube channel sir thank you sir thank you welcome namaste okay namaste sir